welcome back to another video. This is my second time trying to get this video and that's because the sun is setting and only I <laughs> would decide to film a video when the sun is setting. So I just adjusted the light. It's very bright and in your face and that's because I'm using a diva light and I don't know what I'm doing. So welcome back. Today we're going to be filming a Q&A and we're just going to jump right into it. I took to Instagram. My Instagram is jazzycoo with three O's and I said, hey guys, ask me any and all the questions that you could possibly think of and I will publicly answer them right now right here let's do it and my phone is dying I am so prepared first one comes from Deanna and she said how is your acting career going have you gotten any gigs yet <laughs> what you should all know if you're not familiar with the world of acting especially in Los Angeles is that parts do not come fast people audition hundreds and hundreds of times before they get a role or they're lucky and they audition like a dozen times and they get a role I have been on two auditions and one has been with the agency that I just signed with it is one of the top three agencies in the world. They have some really amazing names on, on their roster. It's been a pleasure to work with them and I went on my first audition and it was for a show that I cannot name as the lead role. I did not end up getting it because I am assuming it was a look thing. They ended up going with a completely different look, but it was still so much fun and such a great opportunity. So no, no roles yet, but definitely auditioning and trying to get you know casting directors to just kind of know who I am and know my personality and hopefully something will come. Who knows when? Just gotta be patient, just keep practicing and, and being as involved as I possibly can. Dodo60 asks, what is your favorite thing about your new palace? I don't know if you meant to say place or palace, but we'll go with palace. My favorite thing is having an office space. This is so nice to have an area that's just designated to work and, and you know, it's just so separate from everything. So I do really like that a lot and I'm, I really plan to do a lot more with this office. It's very, very bare right now, but we're making our way there. Okay, there's like three of these in a row, so I'm just gonna address this now. Um, uh, everybody wants to know how are Omar and I or you know are we still in a relationship or am I single or whatever the case may be and to answer this all with one thing yes I am single um, Omar and I did break up a couple of months ago Omar and I didn't publicize our relationship for a reason we probably put up like four or five videos together in almost two years you know we weren't like vlogging together all the time that just was something that we really wanted to keep separate so I hope you guys can respect the fact that I'm not gonna dive into details about why it ended or anything like that. But what I will say is that um, we still care about each other very deeply and you know nobody did wrong by one another. It was just it was just not the right time for us. And so I hope that me finally addressing this in a video will allow you guys to kind of sizzle down <laughs> on these questions because you know we're both just trying to move forward from here. So that answers that. Somebody said pug or some other dog. I don't even know how to answer that. I'm just I'll say pug I guess. <laughs> how am I making money now after dropping EHP Labs and Gymshark? So HP Labs, I did leave. Gymshark, it was kind of like a, it was like a mutual thing, I would say. But the way that I make money, yeah. So, you know, there are multiple different streams of revenue through having your own social media. So there are brand deals, there are sponsors. You know, I work with Women's Best now. I make money through YouTube AdSense. Anytime I've released a program or I've come out with merchandise or anything like that, you know, that's all different streams of revenue. Those are the top things. I, I can't really think of any other ways <laughs> that I make money, but those, those are the ways. Vivi Buendia asked, who's your favorite Marvel character? Great question. Um, off the top of my head, I'm thinking Iron Man, but I know he's not my favorite. Mm, Spider-Gwen. Yes, Spider-Gwen. Not Spider-Man, Spider-Gwen. Katie asked, how long have you and Nikki been friends and how did you meet? This is always such a fun question, especially because Nikki hates when I answer or like when I talk about how we met because it makes her feel weird, which fair enough. So Nikki and I have been friends for almost four years, almost four years we've been friends. We met, <laughs> we met when I started my YouTube channel. I had like 4,000 subscribers at the time. I was going to LA Fit Expo, Nikki was gonna be there at the Gymshark booth and I was like, oh my God, I love this girl. She was like the first fitness YouTuber that I ever got into watching. She's how I found out about fitness YouTube. So I sent her a DM and I was like, <laughs> slid all up in those DMs. And I was like, hey girl, I heard you're gonna be in LA. We should totally grab lunch. She doesn't follow me. She doesn't know who I am. And me, Miles, and Nikki just read it the other day and I was like way too comfortable. I was like, oh, what's up girl? Like I'm gonna be in LA and you're gonna be in LA and we should grab lunch together. And here's my number, shoot me a text. Let's get lunch. And I like literally was clearly a fan. And I think she just like responded and was like, yeah, it sounds like so much fun. I love the meme you sent, sent her a meme. And then that was the beginning of a beautiful friendship. <laughs> that was literally how it started. Oh God, yeah. so embarrassing. But yeah, I was one of Nikki's fans. OG. 
Katie Caboodle asked, what is your favorite video game currently and what is your favorite video game of all time? Oh, that's really hard. My favorite video game currently would probably be The Wolf Amongst Us. I did already finish it, but it was such a fun game and I just found out that they're coming out with a season two for 2018, so I'm very, very excited about that. And then my favorite video game of all time, what totally takes the cake is gonna be What Remains of Edith Finch. I really love storylines though. It was just so beautiful. There's a reason it has 10 out of 10 online. I love this question. Amy asked me, now that you seem to be moving away from fitness YouTube and more towards acting, what is your ultimate goal and what would your dream role be? Yeah, okay, so I would say my ultimate goal right now is just to continue to grow mentally, physically, and, and throughout my career, whether that is with social media or whether it's with acting or really I'd love it to grow with both. It feels really good to be able to branch off and kind of share that on social media. And my dream role would probably be to be in Riverdale, honestly. I'm so obsessive. I haven't watched season two yet, but I would love to be in Riverdale. I love that show so freaking much. And I like, it's all I talk about every time. I'm like, Riverdale, Riverdale, Riverdale. And if it wasn't gonna be Riverdale, I would love to star in a show like New Girl, like some sort of fun sitcom, comedy show, lighthearted, you know, all that. Somebody asked, give us an update on the acting stuff, which I already did, but then she said, and if you could talk a bit more on why you switched up your training to this new Mac guy, pros and cons of the different styles of training you've done. I don't know if I said her name is Sarah. Hi, Sarah. So I actually, still do my strength training on the side four days a week. I just kind of got back into my regime, but I like training with Mac at least once a week. Usually it's like one to two times a week because he really pushes me and I feel like with strength training, yes, it does make you very strong, but it doesn't really build athleticism. I wasn't really doing any type of cardio when I was doing my strength training and so I feel like I just, you know, when it came to hiking or when it came to like going for a jog or just anything high intensity, I could not keep up and so I really like working with him because it does push me and I'm gonna have strong heart and strong lungs and that's all I really want. So yeah, I, I did it because I just kind of wanted more athletic stimulation and I wanna heed the best results possible. And Mac is a badass. He's he's a lot of fun to train with. Cocor W asked, if you had to be stuck on an elevator with one person and one snack, who and what would they be and would you share the snack? If I had to be stuck on an elevator with one person, it would probably be would probably be Patrick Dempsey and uh, Patrick Dempsey is a snack so he'd be my snack and would I share the snack with Patrick sure everybody else absolutely not my dream is mine I have dreams that him and I are you know in a really good relationship and then Meredith Grey comes and fucks up everything. So McDreamy's mine, Patrick Dempsey is a snack. People keep asking about the sports bra. There's been a lot of questions sprinkled in here. I actually got this at an event that I went to. I cannot remember the name of the brand. Like I took off the tag and everything from here. Yeah, I, I can't remember the name. I'm so sorry, I feel so bad, but I do love the sports bra as well. I just can't recall. Well guys, that's gonna conclude this q and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I really had a fun time filming this and you guys asked probably some of the best questions I think I've ever seen in the two years, three years I've been on YouTube. So thanks so much for that. It was a lot of fun. I love you guys so much. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to throw a thumbs up and also subscribe. If you're not subscribed, I'll see you in the next video. Besitos.